the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey everybody, God bless you. We just had a great Bible study. I mean, I'm talking about the fact is that I, I did a little preliminary session uh, on Saturday. Was talking about the fact is, talking about the affirmative action plan, right? And we talked about the fact is that the Supreme Court said then said, we're gonna just, we just gutted affirmative action because we are a colorblind nation. And you know what? God says that we are all one body. You know, so our body is it's not not talking about the spiritual body that we're all a part of. Is 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 also supposed to be colorblind, right? And also supposed to recognize the importance of every piece of the body. That if one part of the body hurts, and all the parts of the body hurts, and if one part of the body rejoices, and all the parts of the body rejoices, and it'd be great for us to get there to to that point where we all operate as one. We all see things not based on the color of our skin, but the content of our character, and that we don't base our content of our character based on the images or narrative that other people try to put on us as individuals or as a collective group. We're not all racist, we're not all uh, bad or murderous or all that, no, no. We, 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 we special us supposed to be the part of the body of Christ, we operate in love, not in hate. So we, you know, so we covered a lot of the scriptures today, and and uh, we one of the things we covered. First of all, let's make sure I give you the uh, title that we had. Let me see if I can get that up for you. Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't get that up. Let me see. Let me bring it up to the scripture all the way up, and then I'll show it to you. The title uh, that we had is this right here. And it said that, and you see the title when you actually pull up the, the slide, but it said, God is our chief affirmative action planner for eternal life. I made it too heavy because I did one on Saturday. And, and obviously the, what I did on Saturday is different from what I did today. But the bottom line is three, John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only God's son to whosoever. See, whosoever is not based on the color of your skin, not based on you not based on anything except for you believing. You know what I mean? And maybe we get to the point on society that we recognize people as whosoever in any endeavor that they try to achieve. And then we don't sit there and try to sit there and hold somebody back or, or create, you know, like system, uh, systematic racism or anything else. We're going to sit there and say is that all of us need to look at one of us as one body. You know, just like one nation under God. Right? And so therefore we, we that's what we talked about. It's the subject for the day. And I and I it really brought home the fact is the importance of loving one another. And one of the pieces of the scripture that I like, the, we talked about the uh first Corinthians. Let me show you this real quick. First Corinthians chapter uh twelve, starting in verse twelve. You can see the topic it says body with many members and you know I, I just started with just that read one verse because I just did this introduction is for as the body is one it has many members and all the members of that one body being many are one body so also is Christ we're all those of us that believe and I'm just talking about us as believers and the fact that the importance of us as believers is now the time to let our light shine and show people the love of God. You know, one of the things about that scripture and another scripture we're reading, we're talking about in 1 John chapter 3, and the fact is in the beginning, God wanted us to love one another. And he said, not as that wicked Cain who did the harmful things to his brother Abel, who was a righteous person, and righteous means right standing with God. And all of you that receive right, you're in the right standing with God. But if you have hated you, you have no eternal life abiding in you. And that's what we want to be able to talk about. 
did one of the things about the affirmative action plan, one of the things that Judge Thomas was talking about, the fact is that people sit there and say, you didn't belong here because you're a quota. But obviously, just some people thought you didn't belong here, period. And that's what the affirmative action was, to open those doors where people would say, you don't belong, you do belong. And if we have to create laws or affirmative action to open those doors, then go through those doors. But now, if we say, based on the Supreme Court, that the doors are open, and a person belongs there because of their talent, because of their education, because I don't think you probably know about it, but a lot of schools, based on the school you came from, a lot of the people that was in the front action plan, whether in the visual school, whether in the HBCU school, or whether in Harvard or Yale, they, they're, most of them are gifted, talented people get into MIT and into those schools. And the only difference are the people who don't have the gifts and may not have the education or the talent are those who are from the legacy. Meaning if you went to that school, then you your child has the right to go to that school. So therefore they may not have be a high achiever, but they were a legacy. So what we want to do is make sure that we as a body of Christ encourage and edify one another and do the right thing. So I hope you enjoy this video. We're obviously gonna break it down to part A, B, C, D, whatever it needs to do to complete it. And just listen to the fact is that God has a affirmative action plan for eternal life, meaning whether you are an African American, whether you are European American, whether you're an Asian American, whether you are Chinese American, whether you are Jew or Gentile, God has an affirmative action plan that when you get to heaven, ain't nobody gonna say you don't belong there. Nobody gonna sit there and say you are poor. Everybody gonna sit there and say that it plays God for you and for me to be here then praise God. Amen. So I hope you enjoy the study, and I'll see you when I see you. God bless. Bye-bye. And I'm saying, too, is the hope is the light that shines. And, you know, I think in the end, and I'll, I'll, I'll leave with you this, is the fact is I just want to bring as many souls to help, excuse me, want as many souls to eternal life. Because like you said, that path is, that revelation, that, that, that end times, is coming no matter what. Right? Yeah. But it's how coming. many I people... Mean, it, it, you can't stop it. You can't stop it's, it. It's, it's no different than the death itself. It's yeah. inevitable. It's inevitable. It, it, it's, it's coming. It's, you yeah. know. And all we want to do, the, pro, the role, I think the role that you play is how many souls, the soul winning, how many souls can you help or share into eternal life? That makes sense? That's your joy. If, if, remember, have it, if you remember the scripture when Jesus, Yeshua was born, heaven rejoiced though when it said one, re, one sinner Repentance. Repentance. That means we should rejoice as, as many as we can get to point to the way. Because he said, 14.6, right? I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. So I'm not going to get depressed because of the roast talking to the people because that was written. That was going to happen. But I'm more focused on the faith part of the abundance of the sea. Woo! Man, you tell me about that. The abundance of the sea shall be converted because of what you and me and anybody else is part of the body does can bring in a whole bunch of people to be converted to the things of God. People, that's my joy. That's my hope. That's my motivation. Huh? I said, which is the will of God. Come on, bro. <laughs> We're doing something that makes a difference. And see, if we could just touch, you know, and I think you agree, just like if heaven can rejoice for one person, one sinner to repentance, you and I can rejoice if we can affect one person 
just listening to this live session or the recorded session, right? We made out we made a difference, didn't we? That's that's how I want you to see it. So even if you can make a difference for that one person, that young person that we talked about earlier that comes may come up your way, if you can make a difference, if you can convert that person to 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 be a success story, how much reward would you feel you have internally? Not alone, let alone what you have in heaven, but internally, would that be a blessing? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Only if you do that. That's what I'm saying. If, if you take that role, yeah. and you have to be cautious on that. You got to be, how would you say, led by? <laughs> Come on, bro. If that don't go into some deep prayer <laughs> and analysis, God can sit there and say, I, I, I didn't tell you. <laughs> if, if he didn't tell you, you do it. Me. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, that's what I'm saying. I would not get the I, I just want to make sure you don't don't get depressed of this. Be recognizing it. Yeah. Recognize so it and it, understand it and, 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 and just know. It, and just know. It, it shouldn't it should bring you to despair. No, it should not. It, it, it should, should bring in the hope. It should give you a sense of, of the power and, and mm. the authority because this stuff, it is what it is. It is what it is. And, and as the people get to know what you, see, you said one, the other thing you said earlier, you find it, I know you caught it, you all catch it, we all catch it in one sense or another is if the person actually have read the, if we're talking about believers today, that's really what matters, right? That's why we show these on these, these platforms. Read it for yourself. You, I, I assume anybody that will eventually see this will read it on the slide, on the screen, which what we did, go to their own personal Bible, and it's going to speak for itself. And I could I question whether how many people read the Bible. There's a lot of people that don't read it, brother. Read, and read it for for understanding. Yeah. <laughs> don't read it just to read to get through it. You no, know what I mean? Exactly. Because it's it's there for a purpose and it and it's it's <laughs> it, it covers everything every possibility of existence yeah. in this world is covered in this word pertain to and, god and, and it talks about the downfalls of every possibility and the 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 the, the will of god for every possibility yeah so i yeah. guess the, the uprise so, exactly um like we said there's there's for every action, there's an opposite reaction. Exactly. For every movement, there's an opposite movement. For every direction, there's an opposite direction. So that is what we need to understand. So for every gift of God, there is an alternative to that. Exactly. There is a, a a power that is coming up against it. Come so, on now. Uh, but know that God's will, when it is applied by faith into your life, it overshadows everything of this world. It everything. Overcomes, it destroys yokes. It is it is a victory that is already. <laughs> he already done. It's, it's, it's already accomplished. Done. Yeah. And so, with that, to live this <laughs> life, I mean, you, you, no matter what, <laughs> no matter what comes before you, you yes, understand sir. that it is beneath you. It is beneath you. And that you, you are an overcomer of it because one has already. Already. overcame this world come on and 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 you're just moving in his state you, you are you are 
<laughs> you are inhabiting, inhabiting. Yes, sir. His presence in this world and Come on. walking out his design. Come on. That's the point. So we, we that's, that's I think it's like a purpose driven life. Yeah. We yeah. have that a was purpose. A good, that was a good word. It, that, exactly. That, was, that didn't come from man. Nope. Nope. He purpose. said, what are you here for? What are you called for? Yes. What, what, you, you have a purpose. And if you can, your purpose is to bring as many, a point, I always say better because some people say they, they, they save the soul, but to point a soul into the right direction. But you know what? The, the, the main thing is, is just to share the gospel. Yes, sir. That's what we're called to do. You share the gospel. It is not you that brings a person into this body. No. Only God can. Only, only God the Holy is. Spirit could, could, could move Come on, on a person's life and make a repentive change. Yes, sir. A true change. Hey, um, hey look, just like Cornelius, right? When he was being preaching and talking to his talking to yeah. his family and friends, right? They they were astonished. Yeah. When the Holy Spirit fell on those people. And so let if, if and all he did was what? Preach the gospel. That's it. That's it. That's all we're called to do. That's what the commission is. Go preach the gospel. Yeah. And, and, and as long as we do that. The thing is, you don't have to do nothing new. No. You don't have don't to do come it. up with anything that's nope. that's so deep that that <laughs> only a couple <laughs> yeah. people can get an understanding. And the people who get the understanding are already in graph. So oh, it, it, it's, it's a waste of, of, of knowledge to the majority. Uh-huh. But they always say you study yourself show approved, right? Faith comes yeah. by hearing, and hearing the word of God, not by heard. And then the fact is that I like my, my buddy that I deal with a lot of cases, he will throw things that he heard at you, right? Mm -hmm. And then you'll come back with word in some cases he'll sit there I said you know I said like four or five scriptures cut the topic so you get a understanding what that scripture said I know he didn't I know he didn't read it and he said it means nothing to me <laughs> I know there's no way there's just no way you know. Oh, you know, I, <laughs> but you know what I still think that there's some seed being planted. And that's the whole point. And maybe, maybe does read one verse or two verses. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's the patience. One man plant, one man's water. But who, like you just said, God gives the increase. God, God is the only one that gives the increase. So we, we do. We can't, I have never seen. <laughs> A, uh, a branch and graft itself into a vine on its own. No, no, no. <laughs> or how about a seed? How about a plant coming up without uh, uh, without the earth allowing it to germinate and come yeah. forth? But the seed, man, look, the sower sows the seed. Hold a seed for a thousand years, mm. and until it is planted, mm. it will not fulfill its purpose. It won't. Exactly. And that's that's the whole point. So that's what we call us sowers, right? That's why they that particular paragraph uh, parable is at first I'm doing that on TikTok tell you too if I'm saying I'm gonna go through the parables. And the first one you start off with is the sower. You know? It's, it's the fact is he said if you get this parable, remember that's the book like the mother of all parables. Then if you get that parable, you can understand a whole bunch of parables, all the ones that we created while we we're talking today. So you just keep planning. And, and 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 let your light shine. And 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 there's another thing too. You're not perfect, but nobody else is. Nobody is. There's only one perfect. It's person. only and one walk, perfect, right? This 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 earth in in physical form. Come on now. And he did it just for us. Yeah. And all he's trying to say, but he left all those other examples of people so that we recognize that. Moses wasn't all the way squared away. David was not always squared away, right? Uh, Elijah ran, 
after he did, I mean, I thought that was a bad joke when he got that fire to come on that bull and he talked that smack to those people. Man, y'all, man, y'all need to yell a little louder. <laughs> right? Yeah. He, you, he, he gonna hear you? He, 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 you, 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 it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Cause you said it's gonna happen, it's not. And they were, went, they went crazy trying to make it happen. And then, then he got to dance to put water on his ball. Yeah. He's like, let me show you something. <laughs> <laughs> this is what this this is who I serve. Let me let me, let me, let me, let me take you to a whole nother extreme. Come on, I'm gonna make it more impossible than, than anything. I don't want you to think that the sun got started yeah, fire. Yeah. I don't think, uh, uh, think uh, that your your God made it easier. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's the boldness he's talking about. David Bowles, the go before that 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 giant joker. Yeah. I bet you would if both of them said there's but a man. He wasn't a giant to him. He was not a giant. He he wasn't a threat at all. No. Because he knew who he was with. Yeah. Right? He knew who was gonna fight the battle. And that rock, because that rock should have bounced off his head. But uh uh it made it through the man's helmet and everything. And then, it, it, look, the guy was talking in faith. David was talking about David being up. David said, I'm going to cut your hand off, too. David had no sword in his hand. He did not have a sword. He, he, he too bad God didn't tell him to say, you know, your sword you got with your boy? I'm going to take that sword from you and cut your hand off. Yeah. You know, but those are the things about the boldness of the gospel. And the fact is that these are challenges we have. So that's why I say God is the affirmative action. One of the reasons I'm saying that people is the fact is that we are one body. And I think that scripture, that was a, wasn't that a good one to talk about is showing the body and the purpose of yeah. all of us have importance and value. Um, I mean, let, allow one part of your body to suffer. Come on now. Come on. So we, and, we and, don't. And, and, and don't think that the, your, the rest is going to suffer along with it. Matter of fact, I noticed that even the university said that diversity strengthens us. Yeah. Opposed to trying to limit other people from coming in. It makes us better. It helps us. It, 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 it infuse all of us with talent and expectations. Uh, not the people who sit there and say you don't belong here. They're not, they're not operating in the full for better improvement. They're operating in going backwards. You know what I mean? So 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 I think the firm action, however you want to call it, I think university, I know they're gonna do their thing, Brother Addison, regardless. They said now you got this, okay, just put in your narrative. Well, I'm an African American from Chicago or I'm from a little small town in, in, in Shepherd, Illinois. Uh, and uh, I, I, I really have done some different challenges, especially dealing with racism and everything else I dealt with. But you know what? I do believe that I have the talent and the, the ability to excel in your school. I'm an honor student. I, I'm a straight A student. And, and, and despite my color and despite the people's perception of me, I know I can be a con contribution to your school. And you know what the school's gonna do? Okay, click up, click up, click up, because you told us we can't use colorblind, fine. We're gonna use experience. That's what we're gonna go face, experience. And those students, some of the students write good essays. A lot of them do. I'm talking about white, black or white, right? Yeah. The legacy, the ones don't have to write an essay. They got, they got evil. Oh, you locked up on me for a second. Yeah, I did, I did. I, I was going, I'm glad you were still there. Uh, I'll probably give it, it's, it's another sticker to close out because probably a lot of churches using Zoom now yeah. uh, at this time. But I think we got, we we on track and I think the, the scripture we use to talk about the affirmative action plan, God is affirmative action. He wants us to love one another. We're all one body. And those who don't think they're one body, that that's, then you must be part of another body. Yeah, what body are you tied to? What part of your body, right? Just like Christ said, you, you can't hear me? Yeah, you like that, that was John 8, right? And why don't you understand my speech? <laughs> because your father is the wicked one. Yes, the wicked one. Your father's the devil. Yeah. If you can't understand the will of God, in most cases, most believers, oh, before I go, 
I had a, the other one I saw on the social media, I thought I may have, I think I sent it to you, where the guy sit there and said the violence, the, the, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violence take us by force. I, I didn't see that one yet. Oh man, you know what that joke did? And, and who do you think the violence is? Who are the violent people? It's, 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 in the, it's in the statement itself, isn't it? Yeah. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence yeah. and the violence takes it by force. Yeah. That joke would turn that around to say that the kingdom of God's people are the violence and they will take it by force. If you don't, he was talking about like the political part, like January. Yeah. He he was saying, "Oh, that was the that was the church taking it by force." That's how, that's how does he mean? How does, how does he... he said, "I take." I, I thought I sent it to you. I'll send it to you later. I'll send it to you if I can find it. I'll send it to you. Man, but how do you, that's how do you get there <laughs> from those words? <laughs> So if the kingdom of God is suffering violence, how, how does the kingdom of God, it doesn't say anything about the kingdom of God initiating the violence. And he used that. That's what I'm trying to say. When you wrongly divide the word, right? That That's what happens. I'm going to send that to you because if I find I want to send it to you. I thought I sent it to y'all, but I, you might do a check every one I send anyway. Yeah, but yeah. you need to look at that one. This guy actually use that scripture to justify correcting behavior that they didn't agree with in the government. That's pretty different. That's, that's it. And you, you almost sort of say, didn't you just read what you just, you that's, just said. That's, that's philosophy. Woo. That's, that's also contradicting the word of God, same thing the devil did. That's why you I shall mean, not surely die. That's, that's philosophy. You can't use philosophy to get an understanding of a spiritual. Woo. Woo. And people, if they don't read the scripture for themselves, but what they should have said is, and that's why I encourage everybody as we close a, you look at the scripture for yourself. That's the only reason why we put the scriptures up. Everything else that was said that came out of our mouth that is not just the scriptures themselves, you can you can do what you want with those because that's just our comment with commentary, our uh, our, our perception, but the scriptures speak for themselves. And when coming at First Corinthians about one body and the love one another, those are scriptures that you need to check out and adjust in your own life. Amen. Hey brother, I want you to have a great day. I took you to we talked so long. But we, we, we cover those scriptures because those scriptures make a difference, doesn't it? Yeah, they do. They do. It does make you a gotta, difference. You got to have some scriptures. You, you, you got to have Bible some study without Bible. Come on, bro. Come on. <laughs> and the whole reason we show it on the screen, and even when, when like you know, is that every time you sit there and start reading from the scripture, what I did, I said, what, 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 what chapter, what verse? And I put it up on the screen so other people can see it too. Uh, that would make a difference. So have a great week. Hey, just I knew you had my I just had my 39th and, uh, oh, wedding anniversary. Awesome. Yeah. Man. Come on, That's bro. Awesome. We went up to Atlanta. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> that well, was uh, awesome, man. Happy anniversary. Blessed. Thank you. Thank you. And her birthday is the day before the anniversary. Okay. So, so what she you was do for that? We celebrate her birthday. We got her gifts. And she we one of the things we do in our house is we make a list of what you want. For your birthday, uh, okay. and then we then we try to make sure we try to fulfill those, those requirements. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, we also brought some tickets for Hamilton too. Oh, so you going to New York? Uh, that they coming to oh, yeah, they uh, coming to Atlanta. Yeah, they coming to Atlanta, Atlanta in February. I they're coming to make. I don't okay. think they coming. Hamilton. It's Maybe in the not. Fox Theater. Yeah. Okay. They're gonna be in the Fox Theater in uh, Atlanta. Tickets. We, we, there were tickets of January, but, oh, the ticket is expensive, you know that anyway, right? Yeah. Very expensive. But, uh, we couldn't get the January, we got the February tickets. Okay. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.